Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going to begin this episode in a bit of a sticky situation. We have two full 20 stack Skaven armies laying siege to a move on Curtain settlement. But that is not the problem right now. The problem is what comes after. Because after a move on Curtain is done dealing with these two guys, he is going to have to fly over to Lamia because we got two more nearly 20 stack. We got a 19 stack here. Whatever, it's close enough to 20. But they're both moving in hot towards no, Lamia, and we are going to have to move fast to defend this settlement. Because uh, this settlement right here has a gem, has a maxed out gem cutter's workshop, and a maxed out tailor's guild. If we lose this settlement, we're going to lose a lot of income. Honestly though, we're probably not going to feel the hits, because we're rich. Not rich, but our income is pretty high. Um, but yeah, I don't want to lose this settlement. Because I'm, I'm not going to let the dirty Skaven put their filthy hands on them. So, in move on quarter, we are going to start off by getting rid of these two armies. Not going to be no, that I big of a deal. They're mostly infantry. So, our Hellstorm rocket battery should the be able to make short falls. work with them. Or work of them. Plus, I have Lightning Strike on this army. It's attack Morlock. And uh, we can auto resolve this. It's going to be a close victory, but the casualties are going to be low. So you know what? Screw it, let's just lightning. This is a I'll resolve this one. And the casualties aren't too bad. I'll take the money. Plus uh, a good thing about auto resolve is when we win an auto resolve, we're more likely to wipe out the entire enemy. If I fought that manually, I'd probably have to chase down those armies and I might not have enough range to move all the way to Lamia. Anyways. Let's move towards Lamia. We can't move there in normal stance, so we're going to have to forest yes. march. And because Lamia is a provincial capital, which means it's walled, what's probably going to happen are these two guys are going to lay siege no, to Lamia. So even though a move on Korin is in forest march stance, we're going to be able to turn him back to normal stance once we attack, but he won't be able to get the replenishment off. That's the thing. Anyways, that. Right there is done. Now Richard Nuspector is going to take a move on Quentin's place because now this part is exposed. So he's going to move down here. And I might actually get Richard Nuspector to start moving towards this uh, Skaven settlement here because while the Skaven settlement exists, these guys are just going to pump out armies non-stop. In the meantime, Volkmar the Grim has finished recruiting Free Company Militia. I'm going to get him to attack Black Iron Mine. Before I do that though, I just remembered there is a Regiment of Renown for Free Company Militia. So I am going to get rid of one of these Free Company Militia. So I get rid of him and then I'll hire this Sterling's Revenge. I don't know what he does differently. Oh, there he is. He's a uh, more missile strength. Nice. All right. So, Volkman the Grim, you're gonna attack Black Iron Mine for sure. There's gonna be Skaven here. Yep, there's Fader Life right there. Okay, I can't auto resolve this because I'm gonna lose this unit of Empire Knights. The reinforcements are going to be the main threats here because they have really elite units. Their settlement garrison, not so much. It's all clan rats and skating slaves, which are not going to be that big of a challenge. They're, they're basically just going to be a speed bump for our cavalry. But let's fight this one because I'm not going to resolve it. And we're going to see our free company militia in action. All right. Winds of Magic are looking very good, so our wizard is going to be able to do some work. And like I mentioned, these guys are just going to be a speed bump for our cavalry, which means I'm going to bring our cavalry forward and they're going to do most of the damage to this garrison. While that's happening, I'm going to position all of my units to meet this uh, the reinforcements here. I, don't, I want to be really close to them so that their weapons teams don't have enough time or space to get set up. Once they do, they're going to be putting out a lot of DPS and that's going to be a problem. Okay, so, um, alright, I don't know where to put my artillery because we look at it right here. If I move my artillery here, this, this uh, hill, this hill, I don't, I don't know what this is called, it's, it's a terrain, it's going to be blocking the line of sight of our artillery. So I'm probably going to have to move them all the way up here. Or right here. Oh yeah, if I move them right here, they're going to have line of sight, that's great. 
don't know if they'll have range though. Ah, uh, we'll see. I mean, if I'm gonna move him here, I might as well just move him. Bro, I don't even know. All right, well, uh, I'll move my artillery somewhere right here. They should be able to get line of sight on this side. Uh, kinda. Whatever, good enough. And uh, let's put our outriders here. This unit of outriders is gonna attack this side. Our cavalry. Oh, whoops. Putting in the wrong side. Right here. This is gonna run straight through here. Everybody else. Go here. Alright. Now let's start the battle. Gonna move everybody up. Plus our outriders. And let's hope for the best. We serve the Emperor. It's gonna be very interesting seeing our Free Company militia in action. This is the first time I'm, I'm gonna use the. This is the first time I've ever used this unit in this playthrough. No lingering. I've used them before when I was a uh, back in Warhammer 2, and I sucked with them. But Welcome to the Grim has a lot of buffs for this for these units, so they should be a lot stronger. Yes, sir, quickly! By the winds of Hish! Oh. Alright, we, we got time. Let's move them a little bit more this way. Take the ground! Faster! Yes, sir, quickly! Now! For the Warhammer! Alright, what, what are y'all doing, dude? Y'all just chilling? When you should be killing. Get in there! Look, the mother game is gonna go all the way here. Wizard of death. These guys are gonna come soon, so I, I wanna I wanna be ready to deal with them. Alright, the Mirka Pish get a little bit closer so that you can get shooting. These guys are chilling, so I'm gonna move them over as well. And I don't know if I end the battle here, because uh, this army's in force march. I don't know if I end the battle whether or not they're gonna get defeated, so I'm not gonna end the battle now. I'm just gonna wait for the reinforcements to come. Our artillery can. Not our artillery, our cavalry can start relocating. Because I'm gonna need them for this fight right here. Right, there we go. There we go. Start casting. Oh lordy. Right, really don't want these guys to get some space. Because if they get set up, uh, they're gonna do a lot of hurt. So just do these guys. Oh my god, they're getting. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get our cavalry in there. See their lord is running, so I'm gonna get that uh, our artillery to start attacking these large units here. And these guys are just facing the other way, so they're not actually shooting, even though they're just sitting there. These guys, come on, we need you. And I think that's gonna be it. 
Alright. So since they are in Force March, I'm not going to have to chase them. Let's end the battle. Decisive victory. Really good result, even though I thought that battle got a little bit weird. Man, our cavalry was putting in some work. Empire Knights actually did a lot more damage than our Demigriff Knights, even though our Demigriff Knights, their stats are supposed to be better. I might actually replace these Demigriff Knights with more Empire Knights. Not gonna do that right now though, because I'm gonna have to do more research. I believe the Demigriff Knights are stronger than Empire Knights, because their stats are better, but at the same time, their unit count is also lower. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Because Volkmar the Grim, like the Volkmar the Grim, is a good opportunity for us to try a different different units, because his skills buff up Sigma certain stats praised. on uh, those lower tier units. We do have a skill point. This is gonna be the last skill point we're ever gonna get for Volkmar the Grim because he's level fifty. I could do Mentor, uh, which is really tempting because it's a big bonus. But I think I'm going to go for Headhunter instead. I could try respecking Volkmar so that I can move some of these, uh, that I can move these skill points spent on Honest Steel away and put them somewhere else. But whatever. Not going to do that right now. Although, as I mentioned, these Demigriff Knights, I could replace them with Empire Knights. I am really tempted. We can do one more unit of Empire Knights with these Knights of Everlasting Light. Or oh, whatever. Let's, let's not uh, waste any more time thinking about that. I'll do the thinking later. For now, I'm going to upgrade this village and we're going to do Council of Burgomeisters. Now, Godric. Gotrick, I think I'm gonna move you to some pit. Out of the wilds. All right, Gotrick, there we go. Jervison. Now, who's next? Oleg. Yes, for now. You just stay right there. Balthazar Gelt is going to be in range of I... Mount Silver Spear. He's also going to be in range of these guys. But I don't think Theodore Kruger needs to help. I think he can deal with them by himself. Praise be to Sigma. Pussy. By Sigma. All right, we'll take that. And I might just have to chase down this cringe lord. Don't cross wires. With Balthazar Gelt. Or I can get Balthasar Guild to attack no. Mount Silver Spear. Hmm. Wait, wait, where is this settlement? Yet to be discovered. It's probably somewhere the here. Empire. I'm gonna move our agent to the right so that he can give us some more vision. Onwards. Yes, there it is. And it is controlled by the Skaven, I believe. You know what? Let's go. Wait, what the frick are you doing here? Oh, hell no. Wait, that is a problem. What orders? That is a big problem. Okay, Balthazar you Gelt, you are going to... You're going to attack Mechanic Gear, and you're going to make a detour. You're not going to go down here. Instead, you're going to go... Actually, no, no, no. Okay, Balthazar Gelt, you're going to deal with this guy, Theodore Kurgiger. Next turn, you're going to chase after Shai. Assassin cannot not... Okay, so I'm going to get this guy right now so that he can't move anywhere else. And then start making way towards Mount Silver Spear. Man, what the where the freak did this guy come from? Oh man. Pokemon the Grim they might be able to chase after him. I don't know. But I can't move him anyways. Vaderite, somebody's gotta deal with him though. Because uh, his, his army is kind of weak. At the same time, it's probably going to be strong enough to overwhelm one of our garrisons, especially for our smaller settlements, like over here, Kerrigdorn, 
They're drawn. Definitely gonna lose to this army. Actually, you know, we it might have a chance. So uh, we'll, we'll 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 see. We'll see. Later on. For now, Helmut Bach. He was gonna chase Olaf, but he made a turn towards the Silver Pinnacle. Am I gonna have enough range to reach him? No way. That is so cringe. Oh my yes. god. If I... Oh! Sound plan. I don't know what happened there. Who calls? But. Fight for our nation! Uh, not gonna be able to reach him. He is gonna be able to reach. Oh, wait, no. He's not gonna be able to reach the Blast of the Expanse either. Okay, well, Helmet, I'll keep it you here. Time. And, uh. To strengthen the empire. Do that. We'll Madness. see what Olaf does no. next turn. Hope he's not going to be able to reach this settlement. The but uh, we'll see. Anyways, helmet that's done. Now let's move on to Boris Tarbringer. Who calls? Sorry for that cut. As I was saying, we're going to move on to Boris Tarbringer, and we have two choices on what we're going to do with Boris Tarbringer. We can either make him go up here to attack the Black Fortress and get rid of Draz. Drazhoth, the Ashen's army, Vagraz. or I can bring Boris Tarbringer down here, and he can get rid of Kugath Plaguefather and this E girl. I'll man, Kugath Plaguefather, you, you have you are down bad, man. This guy has gotten an E girl. Jesus. Shit. Anyways, Boris Tarbringer, if I go towards the E girl, um, that means I'm going to let Drazhoth, the Ashen, recruit. A brand new army, as he, like he is right now, because he's in recruiting stats, and he's gonna attack one of our settlements. That is a problem. But at the same time, if I leave Boris Tobringer, if I go towards here, Boris Tobringer is not gonna be able to make his way to the Bitter Bay as fast. So you know what? Um, all right. I have to make a decision. I think Please I'm going to get Boris Tobringer to attack this part. The reason why is because um, of the desolation of the gash. If I don't get rid of this settlement right here, these guys are just going to keep, keep like a, they're going to keep recruiting some more Skaven and they're just going to keep pouring into our settlements, like right here, and that's going to be a big problem. If I am going to leave this guy here though, and he's going to cause some chaos on this side. But I believe I can bring Boris Tobinger back pretty soon. I think. Well, we do have Gotrick. He can. You know what? Gotrick might be able to deal with these guys. You will be sacrificed to Nurgle. All right. You know, since you said that, frick you. I'm going to yes, you. Yes, my lord. For Heldenhammer. Right, Boris Tobringer is gonna attack this guy. You know these people did try to make peace with us, and uh, they, they, they they said we were chosen of of a Hashat, which I don't like, cause Hashat is a cringe lord. But hey, still, I mean, they, they said some nice things to us, so I, I'll leave them alone for now. And uh, yeah, let's move on to Carl Franz. Bring me to my men. Call friends, you're gonna attack the Villa Peasant. I believe there is gonna be some uh, some orcs spawning here. Yes, throat goats. I'll send Schwartz Helm in my stead. No, throat throat goat. That's close enough to throat goat. Jesus Christ. Hey, I don't know if he's a throat goat, but he's going to be after I defeat him. He's not gonna have a choice. I am prince and emperor. Right, you are trespassing, get the heck out of here. Right, Gunter Van Gorst. Alright, I guess this guy moved away. He's not going to be attacking you guys. Cockatrice, pretty strong army, lots of monsters. Luckily, we got a solution for that. Two Luminar of Hishes. I'll silence them. The oh Jesus! Wait. Sigmarite Arch. This is a problem because if I if I attack um, this guy, 
Okay, he has a lot of armies here, and they're close to our settlements, so... Let's chill for now, Bernhardt. You're gonna have to quickly make your way towards Keg and Blacks, though. And I'm gonna build up this settlement so that we can trade it for another settlement. With these guys. And now let's move on to Wolfheart. If I recall, he was making his way towards the Awakening. Not gonna reach it this turn. But he'll get pretty close. Is there a spot I can park you where you're gonna get some replenishment? No, there isn't. Alright, well, this is gonna be close enough. Hell, Keek. Hornet one watches me. Clan Spittle. I don't think I've encountered this. Yeah, I don't think I've encountered this uh, faction before. We're not at war with them. Marcus, we will be Wolfhard. soon. I think. They, yeah, I think they own these two settlements. We saw that they own two settlements. These are probably the ones. Marcus Wolfhart, fearless. All right, I'll move the a little bit closer. Is plotted. I'm parking right there now, Albion. Dude, is it just me or is the game extra laggy today? What does the Emperor bid? Borisal Lander is in range Never. of Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. His army is depleted, but his Absolutely replenishment not. is looking insane. So let's attack him before he can get strong again. Right. The only healthy units in his army are these mar Marauders of Salamesh and I guess this unit as well. Whip Infantry. Damn, that's kinky. But we won't be able to see them in action because I'm auto resolving this one. Frick you, Sigvald. Uh, Hellcroft Pain Bringer. Why don't you come here, dude? I just clapped your faction's booty cheeks. Are you gonna stand there? Like a pussy and run away, or are you gonna be a man and avenge your homie? See, if I was him, I'd avenge my homie, or I'd die trying. I will mark so he's probably gonna run away because he is uh, a—he he is not him. He is not him. Hey Heinz, Sigma. keep Sigma going here, and I don't us. know what my plan for Heinz is, cause. We are at war with the Deceivers. Actually, is that, is that their faction name? Deceivers or the Changeling? Whatever, you guys know what I'm, you guys know who I'm talking about. I don't know how to destroy their faction because they, they have basically what's similar to Undercities where they make hidden buildings in a, another faction settlement and we have to try to find them. I already made a bunch of armor Watchers. Yeah, I'll upgrade this one. And uh, yeah, we still haven't detected anything, so I literally don't know what to do. Anyways, I think Kislev is next. Yes, my lord. Yes. Siegfried True is recruiting a bunch of, of artillery. Emil Bruckert, you're gonna start heading towards here. David Gosser the and Edmund Bond leave with you guys as well. Alright, we're gonna bring the whole squad here. To battle. It is for the best. That's a really nice replenishment. Yes, a sound plan. Onwards. Hey, David Gosser, you're gonna go there as well, except you are this not gonna move too far because you're gonna stay here so base. you can get some more replenishment. All right, I guess you're not gonna get that much replenishment. Right. Step to it. Maybe it's because what he's low level. He bit? doesn't have the. The nation calls. Yeah, he doesn't have irrepressible unlock, which is plus thirty percent replenishment rate. I don't think Theria Gosser is gonna be ready to fight these guys right away because that replenishment is looking terrible. These guys will though, which is good. What? And then Von Liebitz, I will move you a little bit closer. Siegfried, still at least four more turns. And I think that that is going to be it for all of our characters. I'm going to go through all the characters to make sure that I've spent their movement range. 
think the only person I'm forgetting is Bernhard Or. Yes, there he is. This guy sailed right all the way from Lustria over okay. here. I don't know why. Like they must be weary after a long journey because this guy just forced march right in front of him. To the provinces. Fight and I'm gonna clap nation. his booty. Close victory? Absolutely not. I can win this one easily. Let me show you. Man, Bernhardt is gonna need to pray to Sigmar after the booty clapping he's about to give this guy. When the magic is looking terrible, hey, he's used to it. Every single time the Orwinds of Magic is looking really bad. I don't know if the Winds of Magic for the enemy team is looking bad though. Contempt? Interesting. Yeah, some of these units have contempt. I have contempt too for chaos. Sisyphus Greaves. Wiping his ass is gonna be a breeze. Wait, wiping? Hold on. So, Hellstorm Rocket Battery is here. It's gonna target their. Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, could I destroy her? I don't believe they have any artillery. So, they're gonna have to come to us. Our Temple of Luminarch is going to be right here, ready to meet them. Those large units are what I'm really worried about. And uh, Sisyphus Grease is pretty low level, which means Bernhardt should be able to deal with him. Our, our cavalry might not be that effective for this battle. But we will see. I'm going to put 3 units of the Mega Knights on the right. And two units of the Mika units on the left. They're not uh, not going to be that effective because there's forests here and large units don't do that well. But I want to do something about these uh, these monsters and their cavalry. So I'm going to begin this battle. Let's target their... Let's see, let's look at the unit. Okay, the Infernal Guard. Alright, let's target those Infernal Guard. I might split up my artillery like this. For the Emperor. Great swords. Take the ground. A little bit of friendly fire, I think that was our awesome rocket battery. I'm gonna attack Sisyphus Grease. Good. Our temple will not attack him automatically. Gonna move our demigrip knights up. Actually, let's, let's keep them back, let's keep them back. Don't have to move them too far. I don't know what this guy is doing. Y'all just chilling back, alright. It's fine by me. What the heck is this? Curse of a shut, you wish buddy. You know what, our Temple of Lindenrock is doing pretty well, so I might keep Bernhard Orr back and let him do the work. I'm just sniping him. Very nice. Right, their front line is starting to get closer. Let's soften them up with our Hellstone Rocket Batteries. This guy is moving in. Yikes, that's actually quite a bit of damage. But if I can kite him around and let our Hanginers do the work, should make things a lot easier. Yes, he just spat. Ooh, gotta remember to kite this guy around too. You know, let's get him in there. I don't know what is shooting. Okay, let's bring our Demigrip Knights in here. And our Demigrip Knights can charge here as well. Also back here. Infernal Guard actually, no, no, no. Let's, let's chill. Let's not attack that Infernal Guard yet. Switch targets to that Kadai Destroyer. Activate Alkaim's Mind Razor. And that's pretty much going to be all of our Winds of Magic. Switch targets for now so I can snipe this hoe. The gray order. What? 
Rip and piss, buddy. Turn off our at will because I don't want him, them to go up too crazy. Man, the Kai Kadai destroyer is getting destroyed. In the butt. Man, this battle was actually so easy. You guys are so freaking bad, dude. Uninstall the game. They are in Force March, so their army's gonna get wiped out once they lose, which they just did. Let's end the battle. Close victory, you're actually coping, man. Are you guys seeing this? 70 units lost, and it's a close victory. This guy literally sailed across an entire continent, got his ass cheeks spread open, and we got a close victory. Damn, the AI is absolutely coping. It's like absolutely destroyed them so hard they couldn't believe it. That's insane. That's actually insane. Crib Assembly, fix your game. All right, Bernhard Orr is going to move. I can either move him towards Lustria to deal to help out Marcus Wolfhart, or I can. Actually, what am I saying? Marcus Wolfhart can deal with this, with these uh, stuff all by himself. Bernhard Orr, you're gonna move down south and help out with uh, the Orcos off it seems. It's gonna take him a while to get there, but once he gets there, he'll be unstoppable. The only person that can challenge this guy is Carl Franz himself. And to be honest, I don't think Carl Franz's army is even as good as Bernhardt's. Bernhardt's army is, is a all maxed out unit rank. Really strong cavalry. Chris Kyle is in the army. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well. But again, what was I saying? Yes, I was looking for characters seeing who hasn't moved. And you know, I think everybody has moved because we're not getting that warning here I do have to choose a technology to research pretty much maxed out everything I I'll do I guess I'll do local militia and then after that I'll do intelligence sharing and then electric counts let's check out our diplomacy first see if anybody wants to be our friend nobody peace uh, peace actually tempted to get a peace treaty with these guys because we're not at war like uh, they're not at war with any of our friends so they're probably not gonna care if i make peace with them also hold on let me go to the dark lands if i make peace with them i won't have to jesus christ why is my game lagging like that um if i make peace with them i probably won't have to worry about jurass both the ash and attacking pig barter and that also lets us deal with the other threats such as uh, these orcs and the skaven might actually choose peace not gonna choose peace with these guys because they're cringe but might do peace with them you know what yeah, to be honest, we're, we're spread kind of thin. Look at Carl Francis. He's not going to be able to do much here. He's not going to be able to help out against uh, this faction. Yeah, you know what? Might if, if, if he cannot please me. What the freak, man? Freak you. Give me your money. Alright, we will make a temporary peace with them. Before you guys declare war on me for making peace with Chaos, I don't expect our peace to last. And if they choose to declare war on us again, our military allies are going to join the war. The Empire. What does the Emperor bid? But besides that, let's spend our skill points and end the turn. How many characters do we have to level up? Not that many. So let's get yes, this over with. Lord. This guy. Wait, who is this guy? Oh, it's you. By the comet. Break my bad, dude.
Who is this guy? You're weak as hell. Oh, you're him. Damn, this guy just killed a Chaos Lord. I'm at, uh, what I'm, and I'm saying he's weak. My bad. Yes, my lord. By the comet. We probably shouldn't have level up. Oh, whatever. We'll do replenish troops because we could use the replenishment anyways. And that's gonna be it. All right. Now, uh, let's do that and end the turn. Direct me. I will marshal the men. Yes, son of Sigma. You're cringe. You're cringe. Oh my god. Yeah, we, we, we're not gonna win this one. Oh, looks like the last defenders are having some trouble. And these guys are abandoning the Kalakwa. Tic Tac Toes faction. I was gonna come in to save them. Luckily, I won't have to do that, which means we can delay our war with them. Cathay oh. still getting rolled. Remember, this is good. The more the more settlements Cathay loses, the more settlements we can gain legally. This isn't the real world. Okay, these guys don't have claims to settle, settlements, which uh, you know, even if they're in their region, or like. Like a settlements, basically factions don't have predefined borders, all right? If they lose that settlements, it, it's open for taking. And I can take them and they won't say anything about it because they're a dumb AI. And I am Carl Franz. I take what I want. Okay, Hexawat. We're not, if, uh, I guess we're not military allies with Hex. Swato, that's why we have their camera, but I'll disable the camera for them because they're, they're pretty much our allies anyways. If this guy wants us to join war with them, we will. But just chill. Not gonna do it right now, but we will. There it is. All right, let's see what this cringe lord decides to do. Absolutely nothing. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's moving towards the high place. Puss Stitch. What a name, Puss Stitch. The Ancestral Thong. War Host of the Apocalypse. That was, that's one hell of an apocalypse. Your bar is literally all green. You know what, that faction is actually doing pretty well. Uh, Draka's faction. I want to see if I can be friends with them. Don't know what the heck these guys are doing. Well, 
well, well. We go to fill my chapters with terrors of untold lands. Can you hear that? My death calls. The nation calls. Wow, Gashi just said his death calls, and then literally we get the nation calls. All right. Well, who the heck is Bernhard Hertzeller? Like these guys just saw Bernhard Orr, and they're gonna be like, you know, what? I'm gonna name my kid after him too, Bernhard. You're gonna have his name too. Bernhard Talson. Who's good? Philip Wilhart. He's available. So is Bruno Ram. Ass Ram Valdos. Rudolf Beckbert. Could do a fresh. Or could do a Lord we recruited before, or we can do a new Lord, which is gonna be higher level. Let's do a Huntsman General. I've never. I, I, I don't really like Huntsman Generals because I feel like they're not that useful. Because the. I don't know. Something about Range Lords that I don't like. Let's do Stig Roxburger. Yeah, let's try him out. He's level 15, which means he has a bunch of levels. The wild hunt begins. Orion will now behave more aggressively towards his neighbors. Trespassing warning ignored. Yeah, well, I will ignore your cries for help. And Gotrick and Felix have departed. See ya, nerds. Alright, Cougar the Plague Father. The nation is going to be in range of Boris Tallbringer, so is Eagle, but I'm going to go for Kugath Plate Father because he just attacked one of our settlements. Um, let's see. Shife just out of range of Theodoric Hergier. This guy right here, Olaf Hilmerson. I do, I don't know what was wrong with the AI. These guys are literally force marching in our range. Malefix, Paroxys is also going to be close, but his army is pretty weak. I'm going to get Helmet to attack Olaf Hilmerson first, but we are going to leave that for next time because I am going to end it here. So, as usual, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you again next time.